it's time to see how well the potatoes that we planted in the spring have done. These are the potatoes that I planted from organic store-bought potatoes and I planted them in bags for the very first time. I wasn't sure how it would go but now that we've harvested them all I'm really pleased and looking back over the season this was the easiest season of gr potato growing we've ever had. If you want to see how we planted them I'll go ahead and leave a link to that video down in the description box. So these are the potatoes seeing what we have in this red potato bag. So that's what we got from one red potato bag and one of the golden potato bags. The golden potatoes had a lot more potatoes in them, but they're pretty nice. I gave away the contents to one of the gold bags and the red bags already, and it had a very similar harvest. We're going to keep harvesting these guys. This bag only had the top ones here, maybe five or six of the, these top ones. The bin that you just saw, right after we filmed that clip, we went ahead and went and had dinner. Between then and now, two days later, We've eaten all those potatoes, whether they've been boiled or mashed or fried. And there's been about seven to nine people at various times um, having meals with us. So they didn't go very far, but they were very, very delicious. And the very, very best part was that those potatoes were blemish free. I'd cut them open, perfect. On the outside, on the skins, perfect. And I have never had a harvest of potatoes that were in such great shape. We are completely organic. We do we don't even spray neem oil around here. I mean, we a bee. That's all we got out of that bag. That's kind of sad. Get this one next. We're getting more out of this one. So that's nice. This bag's doing much better. Okay, okay. pretty so, good. Okay, seriously, this is so far. So far, this is the only potato I found in this bag. Hmm. Seems the red ones just don't produce or didn't produce really well. Could be how I took care of them. Oh wait, I'm finding some more. Okay, I bet they're determinate varieties. So all the potatoes are at the very, very bottom. So these five red potatoes are what we got. That's a nice one. Not a lot. Disturbing all of the little creatures that were living underneath these, these bags. Sorry guys. A little bit more. That was a pretty good haul in that bag. Okay, this one still has quite a bit of live foliage on it, but we're gonna go ahead and harvest it too. More golden ones. Our bucket's getting fuller. There weren't as many in there as I'd hoped for. The last bag on this side. This is the first potato that I've seen that's got some stuff going on with it. The rest of them are just flawless. Absolutely gorgeous. So I should have done this all along. This is what came out of that bucket. This is a bucket filled with dirt so the potatoes are on top. But these, I believe, were the original potatoes. So this was not ready to harvest. Cause these are usually they're rotted, mushy, globby, yucky. And they're just part way. See? You can see I'm moving it, but and I'm also noticing, like I showed you this potato, but there were a couple others that had some little marks on them. Like that one has a little mark. So something was going on in this bag. That wasn't perfect. The little immature potatoes. We keep them, they just get tossed into soup and they're really delicious, but if these were full grown potatoes, it'd be so nice. Let's see what's in this bag. Got any, okay, gold Aww. ones. Let's just, let's just put them all up here so we can see how much this bag holds, which I wish I'd been doing this all along. Okay, that's all that bag had. Not a whole lot. This is a red one since you want a red one. Let's see, feel any potatoes down there? No. Hmm. Not red, huh? So that was three bags. Not a ton. Okay, this all came from one bag. However, this this bag had some potatoes with some issues. So I have had, and I had a couple with green, and I'm not sure how they get green when they're in the bag. But, so, so, so far I've had two bags with a couple potatoes. Those that are just not okay <laughs> so this is our final harvest okay that bin is 17 12.2 so 29.2 pounds of potatoes harvested plus the other two bins of potatoes harvested that i didn't show you the way out on those so that was another 8.3 pounds yeah that brings us to 36.5 pounds of potatoes from the bags that we just harvested and we had planted under five pounds of potatoes. So, so we got about
about six times the return of what we planted. I'm happy with that. The, the very best thing was how easy this was. We planted the potato. One time during the season, I added soil to each of the bags and then I would water them when I remembered. I didn't even remember to water them regularly and they still did pretty darn good. Only two of the bags had potatoes that had some issues with them. The rest of the bags of potatoes, they were absolutely gorgeous, blemish-free potatoes. So I just, I highly recommend trying this. And I didn't even, oh, and I didn't even mention gophers. We had no gophers. We had one year when I literally got zero potatoes because a gopher had gone underneath the beds. You have to mound up the soil around, along the potatoes. So I didn't see any gopher mounds, but they were there. I got zero potatoes one year. So not having to worry about gophers, that's a huge bonus. So now that we've got them all harvested, the potatoes need to cure. I'm going to be laying them down on this cardboard. So before putting these guys into cure, I'm gonna sort them first. Like this one has green, we're not gonna cure it. This one has like a slice on it, so we're not gonna cure it. So if they're gonna be eaten right away or they're not, or we're just getting rid of them, they go here. And if we're gonna keep them, they go here. Has these little holes. We'll use these right away. So the bit that were in this bag, these are the ones we're gonna use sooner than later. And these we're going to hopefully store longer. After they're cured, I actually go ahead and sort them again based on size. I take the big ones, put them in their own pile. Take all the smaller ones and put them in their own pile. It seems as if the smaller ones tend to go bad quicker than the bigger ones. So we wanna get those used up first. So now I need to go lay these out to dry in the bedroom and get them covered up. So back in the bag with you, back in the bag with you. It's really nice how clean these potatoes already are. I, I'm really loving that. My experience generally is that they are really dirty when I have to cure them. And during the curing process, they dry out a lot and then you can dust off all that dirt. But after these guys are done, it's gonna be pretty easy. There's not gonna be a lot of work left to get them ready to store. I try to handle them pretty gently. I don't wanna scratch them with my fingernails or anything because until they've sat for a couple weeks and had a chance for their skins to harden up, it's really easy to put marks on them and then they'll just rot a lot faster. Then the last thing is to cover them up. Generally pretty dark in here, but they need to be covered. Any light can cause a chemical reaction in the skin, which causes that slight, that greenish color. And that makes the potato slightly poisonous. Did I already mention I kind of like this method of growing potatoes? Yeah. So anyways, that's all I've got for today. So until next time, see ya.